Today I have a really pretty 1970s Coronet Super 12. This is made by Smith Corona and this carries, uses a coronomatic cartridge, which I will show you here in a moment. So this is an electric typewriter, so you do need to plug it in to an outlet. I believe it has three prongs on it. So let me show you around and then uh, we will do a typing demo on this particular typewriter. First of all, you've got a paper holder in the back. There it is. You can set your margins by pressing and sliding. Here's your paper guide. Your carriage release is on either side. You can hear the bell. This is gonna be the paper release. So there's a bar down here that holds the paper really tight against the roller. You release this if you need to straighten it out or you need to pull the paper out. Right here, it says one, two, or three. This is an electric typewriter with a power return. So when you hit the return button, it's gonna advance either one line, two lines, or three lines, depending on how you have that set. Now, normally I pop open the top and show you the inside, but the top is fixed on this typewriter. And the way you to get the cartridge out is by pressing this black lever right here. So you press that and the cartridge pops out. And here you have a black cartridge. So it types black only, and this is going to last you longer than a typical spool. Um, but the nice thing is it's easy to put in. You just slide it in. Voila or you pop it out. You can get replacement cartridges on our Etsy shop and on our website. Okay, so let's take a look down here. You turn the on switch right here. This is for tabs right in the middle. To set a tab and clear a tab is on either side. Like I said, this is an electric typewriter with a power return, which means this typewriter is easier to type on then it is a manual because you don't need to press down as far. Let's go ahead and load our paper and I'll show you what I mean. So the paper loads right here behind the silver bar. And you just set the paper down and then you roll and it'll draw the paper through. You gotta lift up this bar and then set it back down. I like to make sure it's even. I'm off just a little bit. So I'm gonna straighten this out by pulling this forward. That releases the tension and I can adjust it. So now it's even. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the return and let's go ahead and type on this. So we have a 1970s Smith, oops, let's try that again. Smith Corona Cornet Super 12. I recommend this for new typers or especially young typers because it is easier to type on. Now, obviously it's gonna be louder because it's electric and you wanna make sure you have it on a sturdy table because when you hit the return, it does jolt around. I have an uneven wood table um, and so you'll see that there's nothing wrong with the typewriter. I just I have this big dip in my table. Um, okay, let's go ahead and... And if you hit two keys at once and it sticks up here, it's not a problem. If you grew up with typewriters, it happened all the time. You just gently tap them down. This is going to be good for crafters, journalists, kiddos, whoops, backspace, movies, typing or an office, or anyone cooking for an everyday 
This typewriter works well. I would not say that it's at the top of our list in terms of um, a great typewriter and the price is going to reflect that, but there's nothing wrong with it. It works well. Um, it's just not as smooth as some of our other ones, but if you are new to typing or you're just looking for one just to have on hand for a quick note, for a craft, anything like that, this is going to be a great typewriter for you. Now, if you're going to be writing books, manuscripts, plays, doing a lot of writing, they don't recommend this one. You're going to want to find a typewriter that's really smooth, that that you can just really get into a feel and a, and a groove with. Um, this is going to be for short projects or just for, you know, kids who want to practice and want to learn how to type. That's what this is going to be good for. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's just I'm suggesting, um, I'm just making suggestions based on what maybe your needs are. If you have any questions, post them below or send us a me message through our Etsy shop. You will see the link in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.